Hello, welcome back to my channel. It is Amanda. Today I'm here with my That's Expensive Update project. This is a Fantastic Ladies Facebook group project. All of the information will be listed in the description box of this project. It's supposed to be updated monthly, but I'm pretty terrible at that. So, oh, oh no, I did one last month. Yay. Yay for me. This will run from, from December 28th, 2023 through December 27th, 2024 and carry on as such. Uh, basically, you're going to choose eight to ten of your most expensive beauty items to use, finish, usage goals, however you want to do it. Uh, that is my favorite type of project that you can kind of customize it to your, your needs because I'm not a great project planner by any means. But I do want to use the stuff that I have. You have some rollouts, so let's get to the update. All right, so I finished quite a few things. I'm not finished, but hit my goals on quite a few things. The first being the Bare Minerals, um, what are these called? Gen Nude Bronzer, Brush and Bronzer. This is in the color Kiss of Pink. And, and my goal was to use this 10 times. I didn't realize that the last update I was at nine uses, so I just used it then. I should have chosen a new item last month, and, but I didn't. We're at the 10 use goal now. I really love the Bare Minerals Bronzers. Um, and there are regular blushes as well. They're Gen Nude blushes. I, I have several and I enjoy them. So this is not a difficult product to use. I just wasn't paying attention. So that's the first rollout. Another blush, this one is from Laura Geller. This is the Baked Blush and Brighten in Honeysuckle. They have these beautiful marbled, they have these beautiful marbled um, baked pans, domes. I don't know what else I say. Again, an easy blush, an easy product for me to use. I have a couple of these as well, and I enjoy them thoroughly. They are just really nice. They go with a lot of colors. This one, especially because it's kind of warm, but it's not super warm, I don't think. Um, and I, I enjoy it. I enjoy it, but I'm at my goal. And we're moving on. The Jouer all over face and body highlighter in molten glow uh, the usage goal for this was use it 15 times i definitely did that i actually used it 17 times because i wasn't paying attention a beautiful highlighter i'm pretty sure this was limited edition but look at the packaging oh so like expensive looking um this is beautiful it's a really goldy glowy product it's beautiful. We've hit our goal. We're moving on. The Muse by Riddle uh, Perfume Oil. The usage goal for this was to use this 15 times. It looks like I did not use it a single time. I did use it 15 times. Apparently, this is going to be passed down into generations from my family, much like the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy Highlighter. Pretty much my entire makeup collection just passed down through generations <laughs> this is so nice this is definitely an outside summery scent so i think i want to pull this back out in the summer to use because it's still cold here it's rainy we've had a few nice days but nothing really spectacular yet and the scent on this lasts for quite a while lastly we had our palette this is the huda beauty mercury retrograde palette and my goal was to use every shade in here twice I did that with the exception of these two because um, Nebula feels a little, I don't really like how Nebula feels on my fingers, so I'm not sure if this is more of a glitter type. Yeah, it's a glitter powder. I'm not super into that. And then I, I didn't use Mercury. Um, I don't know why. But... I'm ready to move on so i like this palette i'm going to keep this palette this isn't a question of do i need to no i'm going to keep the palette but i've used it i just want to use something else you know so we've met the goal ish uh, the last product i'm not rolling out but i'm still not done using it is the hourglass <laughs> i can never remember the name of this uh unreal lip gloss in the color canvas this is what i'm wearing today i'm halfway to my usage goal my usage goal is 15 and I eight. The products that I'm rolling in, I chose the Marc Jacobs, what are these called? Marc Jacobs Iconic Editorial Palette. I know that this isn't available anymore, but I do love this palette and it just, I mean, it looks expensive, you know? It's kind of a weird shape. That usually means that's expensive. I don't know. Uh, my goal is to use every shade in here three times, which I feel will be very doable. I love these greens and golds and 
I love those together. So that's my goal for this. Use every shade in here three times. I have to write it down immediately or I will forget it because I didn't write any of this down yet. Um, I have two blushes. These are both from Buxom. Same, I mean, I know it's not the same company, but I always think of them as the same company. I don't know why. I love these, like I love the Bare Minerals blushes. These are the Wanderlust Primer Infused blushes. This is in the color Goa, this beautiful berry color. Stunning. And then also Mykonos, a really beautiful corally peachy color. And for both of these, obviously a usage goal to use each one 10 times. And then we have two highlighters. This is the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter in Hustler, baby. I love this gold highlighter. It's so pretty. This is to use 10 times. And then while we have a gold highlighter, let's get a champagne highlighter. This is the Milk Makeup Flex Highlighter in Lit. I have pan in this highlighter. <laughs> that is incredible. So my goal for this is to use it 10 times. And I would really love to use it in that pan area and really just make that pan bigger. That would be exciting. Probably not for only 10 uses, but you know, we'll see what we can do. If you are following along or projecting along, we will love to know how your progress is going. Um, be sure to check out the list in the description box. It has all the other participants. Their updates probably went up on time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being here. And if you are new to my channel, I would love if you would subscribe and be sure to give this video a thumbs up because that really helps my channel and any of your favorite content creators channels. The views and the thumbs up really help. We appreciate it. I'll talk to you in my next video.